Despite numerous new cancer drugs markedly improving care for cancer patients, chemotherapy is still the workhorse of oncology. But now many researchers are trying new ways to ease the notorious side effects. And here with the story is WSJ reporter Jean Whalen. Jean, thanks so much for joining us. It's worth revisiting what chemotherapy does exactly and what the term refers to. Sure. So chemotherapy actually just means chemical therapy. Technically, that could mean any sort of drug made of chemicals. But Usually doctors use it to refer to kind of older cancer medicines that are designed to work by killing fast-growing cells in the body. And of course they kill the bad cells and some of the good cells, right? right? Yeah, cancerous cells are known for growing abnormally quickly, so chemo kills them, but it also tends to kill things like hair follicles, which grow quickly, and um, cells in our gut, which also tend to grow quickly, and that can be responsible. Uh, that, that's why chemo tends to cause hair to fall out. It tends to cause nausea. Right, and so what are some of the more recent ways that doctors are trying to make this treatment a little less toxic? So there are, there's one very experimental approach. Um, it's, it's like a medical device that's a kind of like a sponge that is inserted into the body through um, a vein mm -hmm. right next to the organ that has cancer in it. Chemotherapy is then brought right to the organ through an artery. The chemo kind of travels through the organ and then the sponge sucks up the chemo before it can spread to the ah, rest of the body. The extra, that sounds very promising. Is that ready for human trials yet? It's, no, so far it's only been tested in pigs ah, um, okay. and it's it's so far being designed for liver cancer, but it hasn't yet been treated in humans. They're, they're hoping to, to or test in humans. They're hoping to do that within the next few years. Certainly sounds promising. And now what about traditional chemo? Are the formulas being tinkered with a bit? Yeah, so that's another um, trend. There are companies trying to make older chemotherapies more soluble in water, meaning that um, making them dissolvable in water. That's How would that help? So the current chemos, in order to make them dissolve so that they can be injected into the bloodstream, they have to be um, packaged with oil and okay. other additives that can cause irritation and side effects. Right. So if you make them water sol soluble, that means you don't need to add additives before you inject them into the body. And the idea is that might um, cause fewer side effects. That actually also sounds interesting. Now, what about um, dosages? Do they now do doctors now spread them out further? Are they playing with that schedule as well? They do. Yeah. So one one strategy is to spread out the dosing to give people more time to recover. Another is to slightly lower the dose and use a couple different chemos at the same time, but at a lower dose, mm -hmm. so that any one of them is not causing a huge amount of side effects on its own. And have there been huge improvements to the medications that are currently being used to treat those side effects? There have been, yeah. Particularly with the anti-nausea drugs, there are um, newer medications that have come out that are, are a little better at controlling nausea. Not in everyone. Some chemo regimes are still quite right. hard to tolerate, but for some people, the anti-nausea medicines do really help. Oh, we know how, how awful chemotherapy can be, so any relief is surely welcome. Definitely. Jean Whalen, thank you so much for that.